This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The WWE Hall of Fame was a lot different back here. Let's talk about it. It, it goes five hours uh, right before WrestleMania uh, happens on March 13th. There's 2,900 fans in attendance. Uh, there are some guests and all the stars, of course, including The Rock and Steve Austin. But they sold the tickets for 200 bucks, and that included a Sunday morning brunch the day of WrestleMania. So that's another 365 grand right there. But the ceremony itself goes five hours. Mm. And uh, they said Bobby Heenan was the star of the show. What do you remember about that Hall of Fame? Heenan was the star of the show, as usual, by the way. We just add that. You put him in any environment, any platform, any stage, he's going to outshine everybody because he's that damn good. Uh, I remember that five hours is misery for those of us that have bladders the size of a walnut. Uh, Tough, man. Five hours. Uh, it's just, it's just, uh, too long, but I, it was, it was emotional. They're always emotional. And, uh, I know a lot of guys, you mentioned Austin being there. He wouldn't have missed that event. Even though the next day he's going to be in the ring doing something at WrestleMania. He's the kind of guy that loves that tradition and the heritage and the legacies of these cats. So, uh, but I thought it was, a, I thought the, the, the list of guys that went in was pretty damn impressive but it was just too long. And, and that was something that had to be addressed going forward. Yeah, this is quite a class here. Let's briefly run down who all was here as a part of this hall of fame. I want to mention the last one they did was 96. Uh, and that happened right before survivor series in New York city, also at Madison square garden. But when they're back here for WrestleMania in 04, big John stud goes in as does Don Morocco, Greg, the hammer, Valentine, Harley race, Jesse, the body Ventura junkyard dog, Sergeant slaughter, superstar, Billy Graham, uh, Tito Santana, Bobby, the brain Heenan and Pete Rose. Eventually this is going to become a bit of a TV show and you're going to have quote unquote headliners. That doesn't exactly feel like that was the format here. Who was big on bringing back the idea of the hall of fame and letting fans attend like this. I think that was Vince's idea. I think it fit really well into the tradition of and the same reason that, uh, WrestleMania 20 was held to the garden. It fit into the tradition of, uh, the WWWF It fit into the tradition of, uh, previous WrestleManias. I think that the one mistake may have been, uh, we, we inducted too many people. I thought the class could have been smaller and still as impressive as hell. And the guys then could have gone long. And it wouldn't have been so, uh, abrasive, but it was just, it was overbooked, uh, and guys could have been left off and, and you keep them for another year. They come back another time. The key thing about the hall of fame that it has become a television show is, uh, it's, you don't want to induct too many people posthumously. That was a big issue for Vince. Uh, and of course it's become more diversified, much like our society. You know, there's, there's, they're probably always going for be a female, which is cool. Uh, you got to make sure you're diverse, uh, ethnicity wise. And, uh, so it's changed its complexion, but it's certainly more of a TV show now than anything else. And, and the content is King. Just, you should, you know, that you're the King of content. So <laughs> the King of content rides again. Uh, so I just think we, we inducted too many people. But you can't look at that list and say, well, he didn't need to go in. He didn't need to go in. It's very subjective. But uh, one of my favorite events is the Hall of Fame. I, I loved it. And I, one of the reasons I loved it is because my little wife loved to get dressed up and go be seen and see her buddies and hug people and sure. all, the, all the great stuff she used to do. So it brings back fond memories to me, even though it was a five-hour marathon. And the next day, I'm going to be doing a three-hour pay-per-view, and i got to be at the top of my game. But uh, – you know, I didn't get as much sleep as I needed, but maybe that put me on a little bit of an edge, which never hurts anything. Let's talk about, uh, Bruno, Bruno. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry. I was, yeah. Bruno, that would have been perfect for Bruno, but he still was, uh, not happy with the positioning of the genre and the product from WWE, you know, Bruno still had, uh, issues, uh, that were long, the deep rooted and so forth. And so as we will see, as we go forward. It was, uh, uh, 
it was just wasn't time, Conrad. He wasn't ready to do that yet. And eventually through uh, Triple H's, uh, I had a meeting with Bruno in Pittsburgh about this. And I, went to, I flew to Pittsburgh to talk with him. I think Jerry McDivitt and I worked, uh, sat down with Bruno and his people. He was very polite to me. He was always been a wonderful man to me, especially when he found out I married a Pittsburgh girl. <laughs> he said, I always knew you're pretty smart, but that, that proved it. <laughs> I married a Pittsburgh girl. I said, well, I did pretty good out kicked my coverage. Uh, I just think he was not ready yet. I don't, I think I didn't sense whatsoever the venom and the, or any hate or anger. I, I sensed more frustration and I'm just not ready to go back there yet type scenario. But it was all, it was a very cordial meeting. And so later on, as we will, we know he, he finally made a, uh, made a hall of fame appearance and. And quite frankly, it was very emotional. And I know the crowd went nuts to see Bruno. It's hard to believe a guy like that. Bruno was so over how many years, like, you know, he was, it's kind of incredible, quite yeah. frankly, yeah. you know? So anyway, uh, that was the Bruno deal, but I do remember, I just now remember that me and McNivitt and I meeting Bruno and, and Pitt. And, uh, I'm sure little Jan was along for the trip. She wasn't at the meeting, but the time I went to Pittsburgh or something, she had to go. <laughs> so that's cool. Good to have travel. She was a nice travel companion. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.